Well, my name is our father, Emmanuel Katongole. I'm a Catholic priest of Kampala Archdiocese in Uganda. I currently serve at the University of Notre Dame here in South Bend, Indiana. I am professor of theology and international peace studies. And so what I embark on in the book is to provide a story of Africa. And so then from a constructive point of view, I argue that what is needed is actually to reinvent that story, to provide new stories, to provide a new uh, foundation for African social life. And this is where I started getting into the stories, like the story, for example, of Thomas Sankara. Um, one of his famous statements is that you cannot carry out fundamental change without a certain degree of madness. So, and I make the point that Sankara is right for this imaginative foundations of Africa to be reinvented, we need a certain kind of form of madness. Uh, reality is shaped through stories that underlying uh, whatever institution, whether it is a nation state like Kenya or America, the, that itself is a story. I am a theologian and that's why I'm approaching these issues from a theological uh, point of view. And kind of really asking, what is the difference that Christianity can make in Africa? And so when I invoke Sankara and say, uh, you cannot cut out change without a certain degree of madness, I'm inviting Christianity to live into this kind of madness. I, I, I frame this book theologically, for moving from what I call the sacrificing of Africa towards the theological point of view that I call the sacrifice of Africa. So that's the title meaning sacrifice from its Latin word, sacra facere, of making of sacred. One of the consistent uh, emails and the feedback that I received, they say, oh, we love this book, especially, we love its stories, that it is all beat on stories, we love this. And so there are some people who just love the stories and they don't make much of the theoretical argument, but they just love the stories, whether it is Taban, Maji, Angelina, Sankara, the kind of stories that I that I tell. So that's also has been very positive coming out of, uh, of this work. So I'm, I'm so grateful uh, to Chama and, and, her, and, and his team for making this book available and affordable on the African continent. I wrote the book in a simple, accessible way so that it can attract as wide readership as possible, so that as many people as possible could read it. I would like it especially to be read by people in theological formation, religious houses of formation, seminaries, uh, so that we can really uh, engage this issue of politics. What's the relation between church and politics? What's the significance of the Christian story? What, I, I would like you to put yourself into the story and imagine where this actually is, is, is true. Yes, yeah. This is not just a standard academic book that all oh, you read and say, oh yeah, these are philosophers, theologians. They, no, I want us to really get into the business of what I'm telling that we need to reinvent Africa from the ground up. Uh, and so that it requires a certain kind of madness that the way things are is not the way things have to be.